This is no joke, Intel failed miserably. We're looking at Intel's latest Core Ultra 200S processors based on the brand new Arrow Lake architecture. Now Intel hoped this lineup would make waves, but it seems like things haven't gone quite as planned. Let's break it down. So Intel's Core Ultra 200 series, how's it doing? Well, not exactly a rock star debut. Reviews from tech testers across the board have been pretty lukewarm. Even here, after some hands-on testing, the consensus was more meh than wow. But here's where it gets even more interesting. We have some fresh sales data from Mindfactory, which is Germany's top online retailer for PC hardware. Guess how many core Ultra 200S processors they've sold so far? Not a single one. Yeah, you heard that right, zero. Meanwhile, AMD is sitting comfortably with a whopping 95% of the market share at Mind Factory. That's almost all of it. So why is Intel struggling in a market that's usually pretty open to new hardware? A big part of it has to do with AMD's rise in lineup. AMD has been offering super competitive prices and performance that's tough to beat. And when it comes to value for money, especially in today's economy, people are gravitating toward AMD like never before. Now, Intel's Arrow Lake lineup isn't small. It includes desktop models like the Core Ultra 9285K and Core Ultra 7 265K. Intel has loaded these with all kinds of bells and whistles, from new artificial intelligence features to enhanced performance boosts. Yet these upgrades haven't been enough to win over Germany's hardcore PC crowd. And here's another blow for Intel. Mindfactory's recent sales charts show that Intel's top-ranking product, the Core i5-13400, only reached the 21st position, and it's nowhere near the sales volume of AMD's Ryzen 7780X3D and Ryzen 7570X3D, which are flying off the shelves. What about Intel's processors? Just about 40 units sold in total. That is only 5% of the entire CPU sales there. AMD's top sellers, on the other hand, are selling at 190 and 80 units. Quite a stark difference, right? Now, here is where it gets interesting again. In the United States, the scene is a bit different. Some Arrow Lake models have been doing decently well, especially on big platforms like Newegg and Amazon. According to Tom's Hardware, certain models have actually sold out. But even with this glimmer of success, the Core Ultra 200 S series has faced a lot of mixed reviews, particularly when it comes to gaming performance. Some users are even calling it a step backward from Intel's previous models. Ouch. And Intel has been facing more than just tech challenges. Financially, things have been tough. The company recently reported a massive $1.6 billion loss in a single quarter, which even led to layoffs affecting 15% of its workforce. This might have impacted Intel's ability to push Arrow Lake aggressively in the European market where competition is really fierce. But, wait, there is another possible factor in Germany, specifically. Intel had plans for a massive $30 billion chip fabrication plant in Magdeburg, which was set to boost local manufacturing and strengthen Intel's European ties. But construction has stalled, and with the future of this plant uncertain, it might have left a sour taste in the mouths of German customers, nudging them even further toward AMD. So, here we are. Intel's got a real mountain to climb in Europe. Between a rough debut for Arrow Lake and tough competition from AMD, they have some big challenges ahead. But if they want to bounce back, it will take more than just a few hardware updates. Intel will need to rethink its strategy and convince people that the Core Ultra Series is worth the investment. Intel, I'm sorry guys, 